I'm here in a patch of some deer fern. Uh, these are looking a little dusty. Normally they'd be sort of a more vibrant green color. Um, but this is a less common fern than sword fern in the park. You still will see it fairly often, um, but it can be easily confused with sword fern, mostly due to sort of the similar growth form. You can see that these leaves are all coming out sort of from a central uh, rhizome and then they form this crown shape. Um, the size of the plant though is much smaller than sword fern. Um, so the deer fern, you know, here's, ugh, there's my hand for scale. Deer fern's pretty small. It's generally not gonna get much bigger than a foot off the ground, whereas sword ferns can get uh, really quite large. But if you have a small sword fern, um, or you're not sure if it's small sword fern, sword fern or a deer fern, we can take a closer look at the leaves. This one's been a bit chewed up. Um, two things to look for. First of all, these leaflets are fully attached to the stem. So remember with sword fern, they were sort of attached at a point. These ones are fully attached at the stem. In addition, we don't have that lobe that sword fern has that points to the end of the leaf uh, here. Again, there's no lobe. We've just got that leaflet fully attached to the stem. So this one is deer fern.